last year. Every single piece is different. So, and some of it's really like surprising and exciting. Uh, um, we have a lot of print, we have a lot of printmaking this year because I've been doing that. I've been doing some classes at the library for my um, Wednesday. First Wednesday of the month is fun art for adults. So we've been, we've done printmaking a couple times. So there's a bunch of printmaking, which we, we didn't even have any of it last year. check out the local history section and I heard about this, the, the book club and I saw the uh, materials about this little mini art thing. I used to support myself as a, an illustrator back in the 80s, early 90s, pen and ink, and I thought I could do this to free by three when we take that much time. So I, uh, after I came in here, it was a rainy afternoon and I decided to just do it right then. I absolutely love lilacs, my favorite flower, and I had just been to Lilac Land over in Amherst, and there's a particular lilac bush. I looked for the tag with the name, it's called Sensation. I took several pictures, and they looked good, and I worked from one of those pictures. community events. I love events that have, that, um, you know, people five years old to 105 years old can participate in. Um, actually, this is something in the United States, a lot of libraries are doing a mini big art show. I didn't make it up. I've seen other libraries promote their events, so I got the idea, you know, probably a Facebook page from another library. Anything that people makes is valid to look at as something beautiful and special for whatever you know, the person intended to do. I used to do drawing classes, and I've got to talk to some of the artists about what the, the story behind their work, yep. and getting to meet some of the other people making the work is, I just think it's wonderful. There's many ages, there's older folks here, there's little kids from second grade here. That's a nice community event. Three inches by three inches, and everyone is allowed to contribute something.